May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. There's a problem with this parable in terms of the lesson content that this ancient method of teaching characteristically provides. Because in many ways, it seriously lacks an insightful surprise. There's no seemingly subtle mystery for the scholarly and the wise to skillfully exegete and for our less than well-trained eyes reveal some deeply hidden truth that most of us would otherwise miss. Despite the agricultural metaphor being somewhat removed from the culture in which we currently exist, the actual meaning of the story in its most basic form is this. It doesn't belong to me and it doesn't belong to you. We all have a responsibility to give to God God's due and to do the stewardship ministry that he's called us to do. And its inheritance that we can be adopted into is a gift, not a property that we have the capacity to violently take. It's something that we live into by living out how we've been called to responsibly live. Now, we can get into the relationship details if we want to. And we can parse out the theological nuances of the narrative should we choose to. But the basic moral teaching that this parable points to is as simple as those fundamental instructions that inevitably amount to respect God, take care of the creation that He's entrusted to you, and treat His children, all of them, with the dignity and compassion that He has graciously shown to you. And if that sounds familiar, well, it should. It's essentially a paraphrased rendition of what we liturgically refer to as the summary of the Law and the Prophets. And it is not infrequently paired with the Ten Commandments in the Revised Common Lectionary for the Old Testament reading on this Sunday for that very reason. This is basic Christian moral theology. And it's as simple as it is not easy. And unless we have the gratitude that comes with a well-developed Christian spirituality, we run the risk of not quite grasping it as fully and as completely as we necessarily should. To use the old language of our historical theology, to be in a right relationship with the Almighty is to, first of all, accept the full reality of His limitless authority and then to graciously act accordingly with compassion and principled integrity as a joyful response to what it means to be a faithful agent of what's true and just and holy in this world. And as it relates to the parable that we're considering on this Sunday, that would be a tenant who gratefully respects the landlord and his limitless generosity, who takes care of the property impeccably, and who treats his appointed agents with honor and holy hospitality. In other words, to be a trusted leasee, who has not only become like family, but who by the grace of God has come to be a full member of its loving community and an essential part of its life-giving ministry of stewardship and generosity in this world. And for you and me in our current reality, that means acting with true Christian responsibility. 
from taking care of the property, which has been seriously damaged by our careless activity with fossil fuels and plastics and ecological apathy, to engaging in the generosity of stewardship by actually tithing from the proceeds of our labor with gratitude for the creation of God that makes that labor its fruits and even us a real and present possibility in the first place. From doing that to compassionately caring for the rest of humanity with meaningful ministry that alleviates the suffering and invites people to be transformed into the loving community that we can be, it's our responsibility to truly and fully be caretakers of this miraculous creation that's been entrusted to you and to me. And from responsible tenants to committed members of the Holy Family, that relationship of covenanted life in ministry means being what we're called to be in our baptism and living courageously and honestly with the blessings that we have for the holy purpose of the one whose property it all, including you and me, is and always will be in the kingdom of God given for you and me to generously share with all of humanity. Step out in faith and act with the integrity of Christian responsibility. This creation, this world, has been generously entrusted to you and to me, has been lovingly constructed like a vineyard with all that is necessary to produce the fruit enough to feed the family of humanity and to sustain us all with the grace of God through the compassionate ministry of Christ's most holy love. It's our call to hear the call and to act accordingly. Be honest and have the vision to see the work that needs to be done to maintain the property and to use it as the good gift that it's meant to be. Act like responsible and compassionate children of God that we're called to be and accept the inheritance that comes with life in the body of Christ and receive the kingdom of God where it's meant to be, alive and well in you and me, living the labor of love that can save the world and set it free to fully and wholly live. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.